Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the main account. Next game going on, we are playing Briar. Um, Nico with Dark Harvest Ignite. I'll show you guys the thingy in a second. She has a lot of Nico games. Oh, holy moly. 240 games of Nico already. One trick Nico, but they're normally a support main. Main banned Yasuo, and the Nico actually banned that. Yeah, I don't know. Like, what do you guys think about someone, Harzy Ward, someone playing like 240 games of a champ already? Like, I, I again, I'm not saying it's a positive or negative. I'm just saying I find it crazy. It's the, it's the principle to me is that like, how does that person not get bored? You know, it's crazy. Look, they're all missing. They're all top. Yeah, they all went top. Okay, so are we just trading buffs? Oh. Spit. I might have gone a bit too early there. I was just, I was like, if she put a ward down and noticed, then I was like, ah. <coughs> so I'm just going to take it that he's stolen my, yeah, I just saw him. We just saw him there. So he's, he's taken my stuff. So I did notice this guy's got... He's an AD carry main and has got zero games of Twisted Fate. Versus a pure Nico one trick. But the Nico is normally a support player. Jarvan's top. Oh, she nearly killed them. When she is level 2, she might get a kill. It's funny that uh, full lethality Briar, by the way, is still just the thing to go. They've not managed to get rid of it. And for those who are like, how? They've changed her a bunch to make, you know, fighter better. Yeah, lethality items are still overpowered. They Riot just simply haven't nerfed lethality. I, like the actual items. So when the items are so inherently strong, why would you not do it? If Riot want to get rid of lethality or calm it down at the very least, you have to nerf, nerf the items. Riot lovely thality. Yeah, she used double subs. She also started Dark Harvest. A bit cocky. Wait, they're buffing Dirk? No. I actually got that because he didn't have smite up. If they're buffing Dirk right, are playing a different game than the rest of us. It's that symbol. I mean, Freak is playing a different game to the rest of us. He's just playing I've one trick Maokai at the end. I talk to you. Uh, I think that Jarvan just got tilted because he wasn't going to get this one and he knew it, so he just went for a really stupid play. That was weird. And adjusting it, not nerfing it. Okay. In what way? Why is Freak the Hellabans? I've got no idea. And we don't obviously know all the insides and outs about Riot. I All I will say out of just basic principle, I don't understand how a caster 
can go from being a caster to then the head of balance in the course. Oh, that's so bad, Twisted Fate, buddy. I, don't, I just don't understand how that is even possible just as a, a principle of like a job type of thing. Oh, she gets six. Like, how, how does in a, in a year, he literally went from a caster to head of balance at what, the, the biggest video game in the world. I don't even know how that's possible. I don't get me wrong, and like I've seen some other content creators say this, and it's true. Like it is is it's impressive that he is grandmaster. Like it, it is. Most people, most developers who play their own game, make it nowhere near the top rank. Like nowhere near. So the fact that we actually do have a developer technically in one of the upper echelon ranks, yeah, it's impressive. Like, I don't think it's as impressive as, you know, he just one-tricked Alkai to do it, but it's still impressive. Because like I, I do, I do think ultimate. Oh wait, Nico. Oh yeah, this Nico is gonna play like a bit of scumbag. She rushed a Medjai. What a bizarre player. That is very weird. I've never seen that ever. That's not a thing. You do not rush a Medjai on Nico mid. And it'll be a one trick thing. One tricks play so bizarre. No, Freak just casted. Like, that's what he was. He was a caster. Yeah, she's confident. Probably a bit too confident. Yeah, I was going to say, you need to be careful. She's just going to be blending in. I'm going to go gank her in a sec, because I want to... Oh. I mean, she just died solo. Well, Amegiz is pointless then. <sighs> Behind the scenes? Doubt it. Why would he? He's a caster. Casters don't do anything about balance. It's a different job. It'd be the equivalent of, like, a graphic designer at Samsung going to the engineering department. Hey, guys, I think we should design the phone in this way. It's like, no, that, leave that to the engineers. You know? Yeah, it's the equivalent of David Croft, the F1 qual like the F1 qualifier, then becoming the head of FIA technical spec. That's literally the equivalent. It's like well, it just wouldn't happen. And be the last one. This Nico is royally mucking up this game. And don't rush a Medjai, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's so stupid to do. Oh, did he take my blue? Oh, he did. He's just been in this area. Oh, he just based. He literally was just there. Wow. So Nico's going to arrive in lane, by the way. So Twisted Fate should be aware of that. She didn't. She won't have ultimate, but still should be. Oh, she actually didn't. Her confidence level is going down. Even if, by the way, he did do more than just simply casting, just as a basic job principle, a caster should not then become head of development. A caster should not become head of development in this short amount of time. Like, it's just crazy. Like, that is... It's bizarre that that actually, that actually happened. All right, that's that's a bit. That's Nico. <laughs> you can literally see her. Mister Fate, unfortunately, is not paying attention because she literally was really obvious. <laughs> if Twisted Fate paid attention, there we'd be fine.
Ooh. Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh my god, I didn't know what the heck just happened. That was really funny. Calculated? I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. That was definitely calculated. <clears throat> this event, she, she just flashed. And obviously, she's going to be insanely desperate just to get any kills because she literally rushed Magi's. That is the weirdest decision I think I've ever seen. So weird. Can we get five? Oh, dude, really? I want to... He's not going to go for the tower, is he? Oh my god, he did. It's Jarvan. Not sure what he's doing. Try and find this gangplank. Oh. Wow. He was really greedy to try and stay top lane. Go back. He shouldn't have been as greedy. Like, the reason why I went for that is, honestly, it's because, oh, it's a gangplank. Well, I, I obviously have played a lot of gangplank over my years. What does a gangplank fundamentally want to do? Farm. So him looping back actually isn't the most surprising thing to me. Oh, my God. She's so weak. Oh my god, he just turned around and killed her! <laughs> Close. How did the tryhard? How's the tryhard? Yeah, this is Friday, the last day of the Huzzy tryhard. It's not gone well. Um, we honestly have bounced we actually have been demoted to Emerald a bunch of times this week so it's uh, not been the smoothest a week to say the least this guy is annoying me he keeps stealing my blue stop it he's so much weaker than me he's just playing in a really weird way Where'd he go? Moving on four limbs was so much easier. Just sweet confused. He stop played. Oh, Nico was stealth, was she? An ally has been slain. I'm on my way. Whoa. And I will go for an all-in like that on the Nico because she's got Medjo's. It's worth more. Her, a kill on her is worth more because she's trying to stack that. And she that's it's the stupidest build I think I've ever seen someone actively do. Like I don't get it at all. It'd be one trick things. Look at my regen, by the way. Or lifesteal, I should say. Okay. Just in case he's doing Rift Herald. He's not. 
I'm gonna go collect a second. Have I seen the Eclipse build, Bruiser build? Uh, I mean, I again, Eclipse is a strong item right now, so it doesn't surprise me there's a build of Briar doing it, but I think Lethality is just stronger. So, just do Lethality. It's also really fun to go Lethality because it does so much damage, and that's maybe partially why Riot uh, keeps Lethality strong, because people enjoy it. He is really squishy. Because, again, he's doing a full AD damage build, too. Rampage. Nice, Jarvan died. Nico nearly died again. Yeah, I mean, I, I said, without sounding cocky, I don't think I'm going to die now. I'm too strong. I'm like, I will kill any of them stupidly quick. So the only way of them killing me, either if I overstay with literally no health, or they manage to get like three, like Gangplank, Nico, and Jarvan. Other than that, I just don't see how I'm going to die. Arbity Boom! I see you there, Monkey as well. Uh, Arbity Boom, 64 months. Thank you so much for the long term sub, my dude. Oh, that Gangplank. I, oh, oh, Christian Fate. He had E proc, right? That Twisted Fate just autoed that Gangplank. He was dead. He had the E proc. When the cards are going around him, you know uh, the procs available, so the bonus damage. I think my team is just overstaying a little bit here. That one's the Nico. He's such a weird place, though. Nice. I think the uh, ignite. Oh, sorry, the smite actually got me the kill because it let my bleed finish them off. Goes dead again. Bomba. That worked well. This has been a pretty big stomp. Again, yeah, Nico, you'd be like, oh, she's got six kills. Yeah, she's got 70 farm. She is so far behind. No, we have lost one game today. We had a game just now that uh, we had a duo that both were playing quite poorly. And then one of them quit the game. So we did get lost mitigated. Um, I don't know. Is our only loss today? It might be. It might be my only loss. I don't remember. Is ADTF bad now? I don't know if it's bad. It's definitely not overpowered. It, it, the E ratio, which was broken, went from a 75% ratio to a 20, I think. Like, it's one of the biggest just nerfs I think I've ever seen in one go. It's a very, very big nerf. The Nico is a one-trick support main. Presumably because they're a support main, they've tried to do this cheese play style, and it just hasn't worked. Like, my, rushing Magi, like, I... So to, to those that are like, why is that so bad? So it basically, Magi gives you no absolute utility. It doesn't give you any mana. It doesn't give you anything other than a potential stacking AP. So if it goes good, yeah, I can see it can snowball, but the risk level is insanely high. Like this build, look at it. She's gone Magi into Death Cat. That's not good. I might not. Ooh. Can we actually end? Uh, you can't buy two Magis. I'm pretty sure it's a unique uh, purchase. Maybe I should have gone to end. I just didn't really think that we could. Not bad. 
But yeah, they're, they're about to end, I think. But yeah, you should be getting your utility first. And again, obviously as well, it is worth mentioning, she started Dark Seal. So get 10 stacks of Dark Seal and then buy Magi, maybe? Like, she bought Magi, I believe, when she was at four stacks, I think it was, of Dark Seal. But again, I think sometimes we don't have to overthink it. Ultimately, it's just a one trick not in their role. They don't exactly know what to do, so they've just gone for an all-in crazy play style that hasn't worked. So I think it's just that simple. All right, we'll go to end in a second. What happened to the set? Did we get? Yeah, we got lost mitigated. He quit the game and never came back. So let's go get everyone red, and then we'll go to the end. Oh. Let's go. When we're building a person's tail, it still does a lot of damage as an item. Well, GG. Pretty easy game. <laughs> I I do feel so sorry a bit for the enemy team because we're having that Nico just made them so weak. Like, yeah, she got some kills, but her actual strength level was low. Very low. How weird. Um, I'm going to give it to the Twisted Fate. He's never played Twisted Fate before, and he just played well. So, again, only still another plus 18. Jesus Christ. Um, So, yeah, we go 904. Perfect KD. 11,000 damage, which, again, doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a Briar. You know, similar, well, more damage than the Jarvan. We're only involved in a few fights. And in essence, the problem sometimes when you're doing so well on something like Briar, your damage isn't that high because basically every fight we had, I killed somebody. And let's say they've got 1500 health. So I maximum I'm doing 1500 damage per fight, maybe even less. Obviously, I'm a lot of the time jumping in later into a fight. So I don't get crazy damage numbers. Because every time I'm fighting people, they just die. And it's not like I'm permanently trading against people. But yeah, that Nico, um, very odd. So they've got 183 games of Nico with a 56% win rate. Their next champion is Janna with 25 games and a 40% win rate. This genuinely, they, yeah, they are a pure support one trick. 209 games of support. Then AD carry for five games. This was their fourth mid game of Nico. They don't play mid. They just play support. If you just play support, why would you do a really cheesy playstyle like this? I don't understand. It's weird. Like, I don't know. But anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys enjoyed, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory. Regime.